Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chief, thank you for being here. As chairman of the submit subcommittee on oversight, I'm focused on identifying the security failures leading up to and on January 6, 2021. I'm concerned that to date those failures have not been sufficiently addressed and that the department is not fully prepared to handle threats to the Capitol in the future. As I've reviewed the records from the former January 6 Select Committee, I have more questions than answers related to Capitol security. For example, in a recent court filing, several federal law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, DHS, and DHS, stated that they had plainclothes officers at the Capitol that day, as did Metro Police Department. Today, I'm sending a letter to the Metro Police Department asking for more information about the officers that they had at the Capitol that day. They were wearing plain clothes, as would be expected during a major event. If they had prior threat intelligence to send officers to the Capitol that day, did they share that with Capitol Police? And if Capitol Police was aware of serious threats, why weren't they prepared? The many post-January 6 after action reports made clear we did have the intelligence, but there was a clear, clear failure by U.S. Capitol Police leadership specific, specifically at the Intelligence Division to disseminate that information. Instead of our frontline officers, instead our frontline officers were left unprepared. This isn't a political issue, and I'm sure my Democratic friends are willing to engage in a fair and factual assessment of the leadership failures at the U.S. Capitol Police during January 6. I'd like to submit for the record a transcript from a recent Fox News interview with former Capitol Police Lieutenant Tariq Johnson who had repeatedly pleaded for help from the department leadership over Capitol Police radio frequencies, yet he was met with silence every time. Without objection. His fellow officers heard the radio, so, were, so where was U.S. Capitol Police leadership when officers pleaded for orders, direction, and assistance? After taking action into his own hands and getting members of Congress to safety, instead of receiving recognition, he was demoted. Meanwhile, other officers and employees of the Capitol Police have been allowed to write books, make media appearances, and work with members of Congress to influence legislative activity. It's clear our officers were failed by some in leadership that day. There must be accountability so it never happens again. Thank you, and I yield back. 